Oh my gosh, another one. This one feels good too. Oh! Seems like a nice one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. Filling up with gas now on our way out to the water. I'm going to keep this little intro short and I'm going to meet you guys out on the water in just a second. So stick with me, stay tuned, and I'll see y'all out there. trying to do here so I'm out here sitting my boat in about 25 to 30 foot of water and I'm making long casts towards a shallow um, flat rocky point the, the pebble rock or the pea rock is what some people call it um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get this jerk bait to suspend right in that top level of water uh, water column so um, I'm seeing a little bit of bait fish suspended at about 10 foot deep, 10 to 5 foot deep. So what I'm doing here is I got a, a, a nice uh, shad colored jerk bait and it's a suspending jerk bait that should sit right at about 6 to 8 foot of water. So I believe this is perfect and, and trying to target exactly uh, what, I, what I'm trying to do here. On top of that, I had a buddy of mine tell me that he went out yesterday and, and just straight tore him up on this exact body of water, exact location with this exact bait. So, um, if you've ever heard the phrase dock talk, that's exactly what this is, guys. This is this is me taking some information and trying to do my very best with it. So, we're going to throw this jerk bait around for just a little while longer. There's so much ice on the deck, I'm going to fall. Alabama rig. Time to throw. An Alabama rig. so we're switching up our approach here just a little bit so here's what we're going to do we're actually going to go a little bit further into these uh creeks and, but we're going to stick ourselves right in the middle of this cove and this is a deep cove i picked this one specifically because my boat right now is sitting in exactly 40 foot of water and i'm trying to make these long casts with this a rig right down the middle of it uh, try to kind of intersect these fish that are traveling from bank to bank uh, 
I'm seeing on the graph a bunch of fish uh, all around, of all, of all depths on the bottom, up top. So it just makes me feel like if I throw an Alabama rig, that's just going to bring a lot of attention in and uh, hopefully give me a few bites. Gosh, you literally have like... It seems like 10, 15 foot of visibility back here. I saw him popping up right here. I don't know, probably should have got the jerk bait. I don't know why. See, there they go again over there. See, now they're popping up over there. Come on, fish. No, oh, still on there. There's a bunch with them. There's a bunch with them. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, man. That was so cool, guys. Look at that. That was sweet. Look how white he is. He's been out here in the, uh, in the deep. So right now we're sitting in the boat is in 19 foot of water. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get him on back. But as I was bringing him in, as I was listening into the boat, there was like three or four others with him. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get back in there and see if. This one feels better. Not hooked very good. Oh, he's not hooked very good. Oh, no, I just lost the GoPro footage. My GoPro just died. Oh man, I hope the camera's on. Camera's on. Sweet. Heck yeah, folks. Looky there. He bit that sucker right at the boat. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice fish. I mean, it's a two pounder all day. Look how light he is. He's thick. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and get this beautiful baby on back in the water. And let's see if we can uh, can't make something else happen. Please say we found some fish out here. So what I'm doing here with my Alabama rig is I really like to mix up the speed. So, and I give it, give it a little shake every once in a while. So what I just adjust my speeds, I'll go slow, creep, 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 go a little bit faster. You know, I'll throw some movement in there because you're supposed to look like a big ball of bait fish. So think about it. They don't just, they don't just swim in an orderly fashion 100% of the time. So you gotta appear, plus it's got those blades on it. It's got those cool little, little little bitty willow blades on it. So you wanna shake those up, get those going. It reflects off the sunlight, what little sunlight there is today. 
So I never have just a one consistent speed on my, oop. Oh, seems like a nice one. Oh, that is a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Woo Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Oh, and he comes off right here at the boat. Comes off. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. See this? was so much fun he's got some sores on him man he's got some he's got some stuff going on with him go ahead and get him all back in the water there Whew. let's go let's go come on babies come on let's go Man, I wish we were fishing a... Oh. Oh my gosh, another one. This is, feels good too. Oh, this one feels good too. Oh, this one feels good too. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Solid one. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Yes! <laughs> like, that's even bigger than the last one. That's even bigger than the last one. Yes! Let's go! Look at this! Woo! Thank you, Lord. Look at that son of a gun right there, dude. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked right there. Look, just falls right out. Oh my gosh, that's a nice fish, dude. Oh, I mean, that's like a three and a half pounder. Dude, what? Thank you, Lord. We've been fighting for a day like this. So let's not waste it. Let's go ahead and get this one on back. We found him. Look at this sucker. Whoa. All right, baby. Head on back. that's all the time that we have for today that's all the time that we have for today's fishing mission thank you all so much for coming along with me after on the big pond today I had a blast so if you ever if you've ever heard the talk the term doc talk that came in a major play today for me so yesterday I was told of the reason why I went to this area is because yesterday I was told that the fish were it was on fire man it was just unbelievable fishing they stuck with one bait and, and then they, they kept that bait in their hand all day and just had a million bites and had the best day in the water they had in forever, they said. And uh, so I did that. I went to that same spot, went to use that same bait, and I stuck with that for too long. And I had felt it in my gut that I just should have stopped using that and tried something else that is that I was feeling more comfortable with. Uh, um, you know, that's why I have so many do uh, rods rigged up at all times. I always have between six and ten rods. Cause you just never know and I like experimenting and that's all part of the fun so the moral of today's story is is if you're told one thing try it don't get me wrong you can try it but don't stick with it if it's not working run through the things that you have try new things uh, so that's kind of more me just telling myself that for, for next time anyways but but anyways I had a blast 
I'm so thankful that you all were able to come along and uh, on this mission with me. Uh, I hope you had just as much fun watching this video as I had creating and being out here fishing. And uh, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you for watching today's uh, episode of MS Fishing TV. And uh, I hope to see you all back. And do not forget that if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like about the video, about the other my past videos. And uh, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button because it really helps me out. That's all for today, folks. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.